Hello, I'm Robin and I'm a normal alcoholic. Today I'm going to talk about why and how you should detox from alcohol safely and not just go cold turkey. Before I start, you should know, and this is a disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional. Anything I say to you is going to be secondhand advice that I've been given by medical professionals uh, at various stages throughout my recovery. If you are planning on trying to detox from alcohol, I strongly recommend that you go and see your GP for a initial consultation or go straight to a drug and alcohol services center. For those of you who don't understand why you need to detox from alcohol, uh, I'm gonna start with some general information. Uh, but remember, I've got a whole range of other videos with information about early days in uh, alcohol recovery. Please check them out. So why do you need to detox from alcohol? Plenty of people drink all the time. All right, well, as you'll already know, or most people know, alcohol is a depressant. What this means for your body is that it slows down the electrical signals running around your nervous system. However, if you have alcohol in your system for a prolonged period of time, then your body will start to try and adjust to this substance that's inhibiting the signals, slowing it down. It actually starts to make physical changes to you know, the neurons, the nerves, all that, and it tries to adjust so that it kind of comes to a new balance against what's slowing it down. So if you've been drinking for a while, and I mean days or weeks, and then you suddenly stop, and remove the alcohol then your body is used to being limited and the limit's gone and suddenly those signals shoot up they speed up they intensify and they can overload your brain now in minor cases and some of you may be familiar with this after a, a bit of a long drinking session you might get the shape or you know a bit of insomnia trouble sleeping but in extreme cases it can cause anxiety it can cause hallucinations and it can cause seizures now if not dealt with properly then those seizures can cause brain damage and potentially death please don't panic too much though those are very rare cases the reason I'm saying this is it's just for the sake of caution. You don't want to be in that dangerous position. Now, most people and for lesser levels of drinking, if you stop, you'll get uh, the shakes, sweats, insomnia, and those symptoms might last three to five days. Apart from that, you should be fine. As a rough guide, if you've been drinking 15 units of alcohol a day for a prolonged period of time. So that's continuously for weeks, if not months. And then you suddenly stop. That's when you'll start to see those more extreme symptoms. Uh, but obviously it varies. If you've been drinking a far higher amount of alcohol, then those problems can arise after just 10 days. Be aware though, the, the worst symptoms won't start straight away that kind of critical period of when the seizures could happen will actually be two or three days after your last drink. And that's why you shouldn't go cold turkey if you've been drinking a lot for a long time. Here's some of the ways that you can detox from alcohol safely. The first is gradual reduction. Uh, the kind of general rule for this is to count how much you're drinking and reduce that by 10% every three days. So the problem with this is that you have to be very controlled. You have to know exactly what you're drinking. So measure out the units. And like I said, do the maths, take off 10%, do that for three days, take off 10%, have that much for three days. But like I said, the problem is being controlled and Alcoholics, addicts in general, aren't really known for being controlled. 
So it's very easy to go a little bit over, you know, maybe say, oh, I just had a little bit more today. I'll have a little bit less tomorrow, but it doesn't really work. Um, before you know it, the amounts have gone out the window and you're back to square one. The other way to do this is a medically assisted detox. It uses prescribed drugs. What happens is when you stop drinking alcohol, you start taking the drugs. They inhibit the neural signals in a different way to the alcohol. What that means is that your body can adjust to the alcohol not being there, but it still doesn't let those brain signals spike and overload. So then you reduce the drugs over a period of five to 10 days, and hopefully then you return to a natural balanced state with normal levels of brain activity. Now, the reason you can't just buy these drugs and do it yourself is because most of them are addictive themselves. You can't just walk into pharmacy and ask for a batch of Librium or whatever and go home. You'll just get addicted to those instead. So you have to go to a GP who would most likely then refer you to an addiction specialist. In the UK, it's going to be the local authority drug services. The easiest way to get a assisted detox is to check yourself into a rehab but unless you've got thousands of pounds to just splash on that then it's probably not a good idea as i said the best route is to go to your gp or your local drug and alcohol services and they'll explain firstly whether this really is needed and also find the best way to do it for you so whether you seek medical assisted detox or whether you attempt the gradual reduction i wish you the best of luck Bye.